Ah, the final chapter. Shrek Forever After. So Shrek Forever After is the fourth and hopefully final Shrek movie. And once again, this movie starts with voice talents of Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, Antonio Banderas, Julie Andrews, John Cleese, and newcomers including Walt Dawn, John Hamm, and Craig Robinson. And in this movie, when Rumpelstiltskin is screwed out of a deal to become the king of Far Far Away, his life basically goes down the toilet and he is resorted to looking for food in the trash. However, when Shrek is starting to get the feeling that he's no longer a real ogre, Rumpelstiltskin hatches a new plan to make a deal with Shrek to make him an ogre for the day and all Shrek has to do is give him a day that he has lived. However Shrek wasn't counting on that day being the day he was born and so after a day of being an ogre he returns to this world where he was never born, Fiona was never rescued, Donkey and Puss never met him and Rumpelstiltskin is the king of far far away. So now Shrek has to find Donkey, Puss and Fiona to sort this mess out and put his life back together. I'm going to start this with you by saying this movie isn't as bad as the third one. In fact, this movie does try to bring back some of the clever humour that we got in the first two movies. Whether that be some good kid jokes, some pop culture references, or even some smartly written and hidden adult jokes. However, in saying that, the writing for this movie isn't all that great. It's an incredibly slow paced movie with a lot of moments that just don't make sense. Or were even needed in the movie. Unlike the previous Shrek movies, we don't really care about Shrek succeeding this time because he was basically an arrogant asshole. He wanted to go back to a day without his kids and without his wife. For me, it just kind of pissed me off a little bit. I didn't understand why he made that deal. The voice cast all do a good job, I suppose. You've got Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy and Antonio Banderas returning as their characters and they do play those characters well. However, just like the third one, unlike the first two movies, you don't really care about these characters. When they were in danger or in peril or anything like that, I didn't find myself caring as much as I did in the first two movies. And I could have been down to this movie also being fairly predictable. Up until the last point, that last point did nearly get me, which is why I find it better than the third movie. And to be honest, I probably would have liked it a little bit better if they followed through with what they actually did. also feel like this movie tried to push what we already loved about the first two movies, which was when the characters met and their banter with each other. Like Shrek meets Donkey for the first time again and then they both meet Puss again for the first time. And there are some attempted callbacks to lines they had in the previous movies when they first met, but it just comes off as cheap, lazy and forced. The villain for this movie I think is by far the worst villain in a Shrek movie. I mean, sure Prince Charming's plan was ridiculous and actually working made it even more ridiculous. But he had his motive. Shrek caused the death of his his mom so he wanted to get revenge. This guy's just another whiny baby who got screwed out of a deal to rule far far away. So overall guys, this movie is better than the third one but it's certainly not a good movie. It's still nice seeing these characters together and bouncing off one another but because they're meeting each other for the first time again I feel like I could just go back and watch the first two movies and see it done a lot better. The villain was poor, the action scenes were fine but they weren't edge of your seat like the previous two movies had. You weren't fearing for these characters lives. Like the previous movies the animation is good so I'll give it that but overall I hope this franchise stays dead. I hope it stops at this movie and they never consider making another one. Because I have to give Shrek Forever After two stars. This probably isn't going to be the last one. There are rumours going around that there is another Shrek 5 in development. But somehow there's still a story to tell. But DreamWorks, if you are watching, please, please just stop it here. No more. Just stop. Hell, even if you're watching, they probably don't care. It's more money for them, innit, really? So, Shrek Forever After, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? What is your favourite Shrek movie in the franchise? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks as always for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.